Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're looking at 2023's Seven Energy. That's right, today we're kind of opening up and kind of really talking about the energy itself of the numbers 2023. And I will tell you that a lot of times people are kind of really using this seven energy whenever the seven year comes around, they're really kind of opening up into kind of redirecting the energy towards them, kind of looking at their world a little bit differently and what are the change or the modifications that I'm ready to make at this time? Kind of what are those changes that I'm really ready to make at this time? And I think a lot of people have been um, in 2022 kind of doing the outer connections, which is really what 2022 is all about, is kind of building new relationships or building uh, rebuilding old connections and strengthening the people that we have in our life kind of really amping up that energy but when we look at a seven energy this is all about kind of changing our outlook changing how we work through things changing how we deal with uh, problems or issues um, some of that can be um, how do we um, get to know ourselves are kind of like the changes that we've been working on on the inside during 2022 are ready to kind of start rolling forward. And I think it's kind of an interesting energy um, as we've been slowly kind of forming our kind of like um, changes, even if we didn't even realize we were making the changes, um, it's time to kind of bring those out and kind of like kick the tires and take it for a test drive. And what do we think about this? Because a lot of times people have been working on things slowly and then all of a sudden it just like blossoms overnight. Like, oh my gosh, now I've made all these changes. A seven energy um, isn't really a super rush energy. Um, it's kind of take your time, rethink things, redesign things, re kind of re, 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 all that kind of stuff, um, and kind of making some changes. Moving slowly can really kind of give you a chance to decide really is this the change that I want or is it not the change that I want to open up into. Um, I also get that there's a lot of um, new possibilities, kind of like the new energy of possibilities, like what are we going to open up into? <clears throat> and that really depends on what your focus is. What is your focus in all of this? What is that focus that you're really like, wow, this is really what I want to do? Um, I will say kind of some goals to kind of set for 2023 um, is making yourself a priority. And a lot of people just don't take care of themselves the way they should. I know people are like, you should go see your doctor a couple of times a year and just kind of do a checkup. You should kind of um, take care of yourself and kind of maintain yourself. And a lot of people have putting, been putting that off for way, way, way too long. And so this is kind of the year that is kind of like, take care of you, kind of take care of, of yourself and kind of what have you been denying yourself? and adding that to it. Cause a lot of times like, people are like, I don't want to go to the doctor. I'm scared of the doctor. I'm afraid of what he's going to say. Um, and so that's kind of one of those, like, mm, but you can't really not do it. You gotta, you gotta do it eventually. Um, we are kind of living in a strange world. Um, no matter what the circumstances it, um, have been, um, it can be difficult to push ourselves forward to kind of to continually, um, uh, move our energy forward and kind of making the changes. This year is kind of, um, it's not necessarily like we're ready to change a whole bunch of stuff. It's kind of like, what are the inner changes that you're ready to kind of bring out and kind of um, open up into? This can be a great um, spiritual or emotional um, energies and kind of feeling secure because a lot of people have not really felt secure in a long time or had this overwhelming fears um, or frustrations coming up of like, I'm so afraid or I'm so fearful or I, I you know, I have frustration. I don't want to do this or I don't want to go out. And so it's one of those, this is kind of that time to let it go. This is also a great time to kind of look and kind of gain your own inner clarity of what's going on. Um, I will tell you, um, some people are going to have an amazing 2023 just because of the fact that there is tons of new understandings. There's a ton of new energy coming out. There's a ton of um, 
kind of like, where do I want to focus? What do I want to do? What is the root of what I want to change or how I want to change? So that's kind of coming in. Um, it's time to kind of highlight your strengths and kind of weed out your weaknesses. Um, a lot of times um, people are like, oh no, you know, I've really got to work on this. Sometimes it's the best part is to find someone who's really good at that part and let them do that part that you really don't care for and do what's really been working for you. Um, I think kind of this oneness that we've, we've all been kind of searching for is that like connectiveness back to our creator energy, kind of our own energy and building um, these kind of connections between yourself and the natural world is going to be really important in 2023. Um, I know that there's already been several people kind of just, hey, let's do a meditation class. I want to learn how to meditate better, faster, uh, that sort of thing. Um, some of them can be kind of like how to open up into um, more energy. Um, some of it can just be I want to learn how to breathe correctly in meditation. I want to learn how to do this. So it's kind of like that inner strength in them. And I've also had a lot of people um, kind of asking about psychic classes, which is great because it's like, it's not like I'm going to turn you into a psychic or anything else. It's one of those, your abilities are already there. Just learning how to tap into them better or turn, learning how to tap into them um, and promote them within you. Like, how can I really listen to that inner voice? How can I really kind of open up into my own intuition and kind of understand that, okay, this message isn't from me. It must be from my angels and guides. And then really listening to that part can be like, wow, I've got it. Um, make a point to kind of follow your gut instinct um, more often and kind of like um, if you're really um, having problems kind of like getting your focus in learn how to work through that and kind of really focus through that because a lot of people especially clairsensitives um, are having a lot of issues right now kind of like staying focused on what's right in front of them that can be, be an amazing energy as well and so know that this is kind of part of amping this up and opening this up as well so this can be a great way to kind of really listen um, to what's coming into yourself and really be ready for what's about to happen because so many times like people just don't take the time and then all of a sudden it sits right in front of you and you're kind of like wait I wanted to learn how to do this and I've run out of time nope take the time right now um let's look at some angel cards and get us a little bit more insight into our year of seven this one is popping forward and this is the first house and this is the arrival and kind of kind of setting the tone. Um, the arrival is really about setting the tone. How are you going to come in? Are you going to come in like a lime or a, a lamb or a lion? Kind of like, where are we going with this? Um, and that can change a lot of things. Um, the North Node is all about the future. Um, and it's one of those setting your intentions now at the beginning of the year is going to set your intentions for the rest of the year. Kind of like, yeah, we're ready to do this part. Um, Aquarius is all about collaborating, collaborating with other people that have um, dreams and ideas. Maybe not the same dream, like y'all want to. Everybody wants to open a, uh, the same type of shop or whatever it is. Getting with people that have dreams and um, energy to do these things, kind of things. That's going to really amp up your energy, and it doesn't have to be the exact same type of business. It can be just opening up a business in, uh, in general, or I really want to start a new relationship, find other people that are ready to start new relationships. And it doesn't mean you have to start dating them. It just means you have someone to support you as you work through this um, obstacle of finding the right person and talking to them and getting through that first date, all the kind of things. You have other people to kind of cheer you and support you on. Um, this is uh, Solar Calm, and this is about clarity. Um, so many times people want that clarity from other people around them, um, yet at the same time they may not be really um, ready to um, amplify that energy or really ready to kind of like open up into it. Finding other people with like-mindedness was really help with this. The third house is all about communication. Communicating well with other people can be a game changer. So much game. Um, I will tell you, this is kind of one of those energies where it's kind of pushing you to do something differently or to react differently or act differently or um, kind of change how you've been reacting to things. That can really help as well. This is Aries and this is about act. And so that's kind of what it's like. Okay, this is the energy that wants you to change how you're reacting to things. And it doesn't mean you need to change everything. Just, okay, 
the way I reacted to this in the past didn't work or didn't help. Um, so how can I change this? How can I really listen um, to my inner voice? How can I really open up to this? It can be a great one. Um, the second house is all about your resources. What are your resources? So many times people don't even sit down and think about like, what are all the things I can, or all the people I can call on? Or what are all the things that I have or what someone else has that I can borrow uh, for a period of time and kind of make those changes in me that I'm ready to make? Um, this is Vesta and this is the hearth. This is really the heart of our change, really bringing in that new energy around us, those new energies of what do we want to do? How do we want to do this? And kind of getting ready for what's next. Kind of what is what's next? Kind of where do we want to go in 2023? Um, the ninth house is all about exploration. Really cool there. Um, what do you want to explore into? What are the things that you want to learn or do or accomplish? That's a really great thing to kind of really think um, as we move further and further into 2023 of like, what is that energy? What is it that we want to accomplish or explore into or change in our in our world? Um, Sagittarius is all about expand. Yes. It is. It's all about expansion and growth for ourselves, not someone else telling us to change or modify or anything else. It's us telling us, like, I'm ready for that change. And that really comes in in this 2023 seven energy with um, great ways to expand what's going on and keep doing our inner work. I thank you so much for talking to me today. And I know that we'll be talking again soon.